yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course we're back with another talking about video. So yes, yes, yes. Boba did finally hit number one. Oh my gosh, it's been months since I did this for JP specifically. For um JP. Oh god, oh, Boba already hit number one for the US, but we had to wait for like France, Luxembourg, typical stuff, of course, like I said. Um but yeah, we gotta just usually wait for that it was a long time and so um as a first open, isn't it? Um but yeah, we usually gotta like to wait and stuff like that, and those don't really take that long though. But um for global I mean, for JP it didn't really take that long though, but for global, um Got more specific here and there though, so um yeah. Um really really hot where I am though, so of course I'm sweating the hot like heck up in here. So yeah, uh but yeah, like I said, um whew, now we do that, that's really hot. <laughs> like I was like uh, yeah. But yeah though, um Goldberg did hit number one, JB actually did hit number one, so they would finally be that horse girl game that was like I think is it like something with Suma? But not Monster Missing or something. I don't know if like a horse girl anime that has like a game and stuff like that. It got the game. And we finally beat it, man. We finally beat it. And then there's so many memes about about it. Finally, finally, finally beat it. We beat it, boys. We did it. So Global finally, JP finally got number one. I, I'm going back and forth. Uh, but yeah, by the time it goes up, we probably will have the Global number one awards. I know for um a JP, I think they hit it a couple of times on um what you call it. They hit it a couple of times on um. Is it, is it not Thunderstorm where I am? Holy crap, I'm like right here with the video. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I knew it was good Thunderstorm, I was like, oh crap, I forgot a little bit as I was doing the video. Um, whew, but yeah, um, like I said though, um, JB did finally hit number one. Oh my gosh, we got so, so, so much good rewards too, but again, Goals was hitting number one, not as much. It makes sense to play that, because really some of the banners. Um, but yeah, um, JP it was looking up to hit number one and stuff like that, I'm so glad though. Man, it's been a long time since JBX hit number one. I, I think the last time I remember hit, hitting number one, maybe for like same day, I think that was global, or like the anniversary last time for JP. Again, for months, JP was not number one at all. I, don't know, I think Videl got like six, I think, and Tapion and it got like five or whatever, or four. Um, but I know like Fate's on there um, in Japan. Um, to think of it. Um, Fate. Um, to think of it. Um, I know Fate was on there. Um, Fate Grand Order. Um, or FGO. Uh, yeah, I just, I just know that Fate Grand Order, FGO, whatever. Um, but yeah. Um, I think Monster Strike was another one. Just like a baseball game. There's a couple on there. Um, for like JP and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Um, I am so glad though. Again, we finally hit number one on JP and stuff like that. I'm so, so glad because for the longest time, that mo that horse mod again. It, they're anime watches, of course. You know, it doesn't even it's just horses. Everybody still like any type of anime girl, regardless. So, but uh, yeah, a lot of people again. It's like fate. They love their waifus, man. They just you know, it's like even like Fire Emblem. They, people love their waifus in that. Even Xenoblade has like quite two major waifus and Py Py Pyra and Mithra. I said Mithra and Pyra. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, JP got some good rewards and stuff like that. I'm gonna go over them in a couple of minutes and a couple of seconds actually. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go over the banner and stuff like that, like I usually do for the um, number one that sort of rewards. Again, it's been so long since I did a video like this stuff. I thought about changing like the format slash so layout, like before my thumbnails for these. I might make like myself like a um, like a hypersonic like TV or something like that. I don't know. I just I'm gonna think about that a little bit as I was in the video. I was getting the video ready. I was like, oh, I could do that. Like you know, make like you know, get like a television screen. You know, since I kind of already do it like static game wise. Um, that'd be kind of cool to do and see. Like, I don't know, just, uh, you'll see that when I'm doing the thumbnail, hopefully I'll get it out every time. Maybe, hopefully. I just yeah, put some more effort into it sometimes, you know. A little bit more effort into it um, when it hurt nobody. But yeah. Um, of course, JP got 30 stones, which is good. I know Global got, I think, like 80, 88 or 80 stones, like, from their anniversary um, login and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and JP only got, like, what, 33 during the anniversary. So, yeah. Again, July easily the busiest month, but I'm excited, though. We got a lot of good things coming for JP and stuff like that, of course. Uh, we have five um, Pycon hats, the seven Pycon hats for each typing, which are really good. I recommend keeping those. I never really use these only. They, I, actually, yeah, I really, really use these anymore. So, um, yeah. Uh, but that Pycon event comes back a lot, though, so I'm going to easily form it out, get some link levels. I've been doing that last couple of days, just link level grinding on global, getting some of my rank up. I did just reach, reach rank 700, so halfway there, 999. Halfway there, so, um, yeah. It's fun to grind up and dope, though. Uh, seven meat items actually is really good. Seven Platinum Hercule statues. Uh, seven, um, I think, easy eight keys and story keys. Seven, um, grand, um, seven, um, hourglasses. One thousand two, one thousand eight hundred, um, small orbs. One thousand one hundred, um, medium orbs. One hundred large. I think sums up to, I think, around, like, I think, um, I usually has it on here. I think around, like, what? I think, usually, yeah, three thousand? Three hundred? Yeah, three thousand. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, three thousand. I said one thousand two thousand. Okay. I make sure because always get the numbers confused. I'm like, okay, 1,000, 2,000, yeah, 3,000 orbs overall for tech. Really good though. Um, again, uh, for me though, for all orbs, I think tech and physical are probably the most I have. Um, 
on global specifically because again i have not used physical orbs. i have like literally no units physical i can use orbs on anymore like that and even like tech too like there's nothing i really want to put in orbs for other characters so i might start doing a little investing a little bit more since global has the coin update which I, oh yeah i forgot about mentioning that in my video global does have the coin update now so um you know because on jp we have the coin i think did they get the coin update i think during somewhat during the anniversary i think they had like an update before that um so yeah um yeah i think that um that's what happened so yeah i keep forgetting about that too i want to discuss that a little bit i forgot about that i was like wait a minute yeah even on global right now um you know global's having their anniversary and stuff like that so that's perfect right there for global you know um hit up get some um you know coins you know get a lot of you units chat like remember for like a long time for newer players it won't really like benefit them and stuff like that but for older players like who've been playing a really long time maybe got like you know we're gonna go crazy mad bull everything on the anniversary that's really good because again you can summon get a lot of units for me specifically now i'm starting to rainbow a lot of my units more um thanks like just all this and stuff like that I have like what well, i think like 100 rainbow units um i could probably start i'm um, getting some, i invest a little bit more i can get some more coins that's actually really good for global and jp though of course you know if it's going all out on these banners because you get to pull a lot of these like just random ssrs you don't really really need anymore so i'm good again now with the same name update and stuff like that again global will, again global will get that after the anniversary you know with the whole new super similar wish or whatever i think that's tied to the anniversary though that's why i did not come early for um global but the coin did come early though i believe though so that's actually really good um as I see again, really, really good though. I think they brought that last year with the five year or four year, one of the two. I can't remember. Um, I think it's five year, I believe. I don't think three year had it. I think four year had the coins. Yeah, four year, four year had the coins. I remember those banners. Yeah, four year had the coins, stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, again, though, really, really good rewards and stuff like that. Again, I'm just rambling on. I just forgot about that. Really, really good rewards. Again, it's been like months since JP hit number one. So, I thought it was really weird and naked to kind of do videos again. But is the banner worth it to summon on? I say yes. Even for Global, if you want to save up, you know, after Down Celebration, maybe if you want to skip Dragon Ball Heroes, which really doesn't matter. If you want to do a couple more on those banners, it's the SSR everything. So, you don't really have to summon on it. Maybe do like one or two multis. You don't have to go like full on and take stuff like that though. So um yeah. I think you could have a couple like three or four bowls maybe on that banner. You'll get like almost everything. Basically if you get like a god animation, you wanna get that. You will get like Vegeta Blue Super Vegeta on the Dragon Ball Hero um, summons. But again, they're optionable. Op optionable, optionable. You don't have to like yeah, again, you don't have to like do them and stuff like that. But yeah, this global ban this banner right here, it's really good. Again, I recommend something on this banner. This one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That kind of scared me a little bit, though. Um, but yeah, um, I got over her from the video because I want to be done with them. So but yeah, um, or someone just you know loud banging cars. But yeah, um, make sure. Oh, okay, so, I was um, looking at something on my um, tablet. I got my tablet a lot of doing stuff um, inside. Um, but yeah, this bear is really worth it. Again, good. Again, all these units are good. This is good value. This is what I was talking about in good value because Goku and Vegeta are amazing. Gotenks is good. He's a good AO unit, just a raw good unit. Um, he's good time limit support, I believe. Um, not really for Gogeta, but again, just it, 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 same thing, kind of. I'm glad though, because we didn't need a new AG of Gotenks. The other one just, oh god, it was horrible. Uh, we, I'm glad we needed a new one. Though. He's an AO unit. If you do not have that much AO, he's just trying to save up for a tournament. Really good. Um, Gotenks and Dark Chisel are really good. Pycon, Pycon and Jimper are really good. I'm starting to see Pycon's value um, now for Global and stuff like that. Um, now on uh, Global, as I use them more and more and more. Pycon's really good. I haven't used Janepa nearly as much, so I don't have Pycon or Janepa. I've just been using them as friends. They're really good. Um, again, Pycon's really underrated. He actually is really good. Um, and Janepa, I haven't used them as much, though, but I still think Janepa's pretty solid. I gotta use them a little bit more. Um, as a friend and stuff like that. But I mainly use Pycon. He's good though. Basically with the Goku, Angel Goku and Vegeta, you're gonna see that unit super attack 24-7. Again, it's either Angel Goku or Angel Vegeta, it doesn't really matter. Kakin Blue Goku, Evolution Blue, Blue Vegeta are still good even a year later. They're really, they got pretty well. They were like, you know, some other best unit in the game last year. They're pretty solid. Um Gotenks are really good. Um uh, oh yeah, Boots on the banner. I just noticed that. Um Ghost and Trucks are still pretty good. I know a lot of people are meme on them. Yeah, they've been on every banner. Yeah, I see that value now. They've been on so many banners now at this point. You should have them already. Um, if it was the LR banner and stuff like that, especially on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's banner. Um, okay. Um, yeah, you'll see it there. I'm still, doing, I'm still going with the video. <laughs> the light is just kind of coming out of nowhere. It's under lightning coming out of nowhere. Um, Dragon Ball Super Gogeta is still a great unit. He's still amazing. Ink Gogeta is still disgusting at his ZZA. Again, this is what I mean by good value. If you want to, um, I'm not saying like for global right now, because I mean, it's way better than the banner last year. Last year, uh, they just 10 by better. Um, I probably don't say something on this one because there are so many of the banner heart, by the way. Um, but yeah, though, um, again, the banner, it's pretty okay. I probably don't. I mean, it's, no, it actually has some really good units on here, like Goku, Vegeta, 
um, go tanks. Again, the lower rates are lower for these drones, though, on these banners. That's how Tanabata always been. Ever since Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and stuff like that. Um, this banner, again, like I said, not really, um, just, in my opinion, though, not really, like, worth it to go on. You know, you have all the units. Again, all the units from the original banner, UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta. I messed up there. Um, Evolution Blue Vegeta, UI Goku are both really good. They just came out for Global. Again, Global, this banner will be in December, though, so don't really stress yourself out about it. It's only a couple months later for Global and stuff like that. But I know a lot of people are going to be, like, sad, upset, and stuff like that. Which, I mean, they got to wait, like, what, like, Feb, what, like, like, March, because March is technically, yeah, like, April, May, June what july like four months global has i think wait four months like three to four months global is pretty much kind of the same thing i think because right now yeah because global that is, yeah july august september october november december yeah global has to wait a little bit longer though but yeah um again you can get these all you guys with coins now um again um again you got some really good units like here SCR Nip was really good this guy's still a god you're you've been really good i've seen the value in you a lot more evolution uh, this video is still really solid this um um goku box still really great video blue str rose are pretty solid um and um you are goku still one of the best ezas in the game probably him and video blue are probably like tied for some of the best ezas even in Janepa, str Janepa. even though it's yeah Janepa, super 17 is really good i've used um goku black on um vegeto blue tech vegeto blue is still solid though um blue is on the banner though instead of go tanks okay it makes sense um go on go ten again you have so many lrs in here like how many one two three four five yeah it's gonna be a little bit harder for this one because you have like five lrs on here don't confess lrs on here i think last year was a little bit better though i believe so let me check out the banner from last year um this no this oh yeah this banner sucked this banner really sucked last year um it was this one i think it was a lot better last year i believe uh let me check it out um, was the banner better last year? Um, semi. Make a very good banner. This is Tinder Potter, right? Um, I don't know, cause all these guys, yeah, this one is really good though, cause you got Vegeta Blue. Um, Vegeta Blue were the best shoes back then. Goats and Trunks were really good. Go, um, go, Trunks and, um, the boss were really good. This boy was, I don't know, kind of dead now, because no one ever really uses him. I was looking for a tournament team until I get, like, LRSTR Broly. Sooner or later, hopefully. Hopefully for the anniversary. Hopefully I'll get LRSTR Broly. I'm hoping on. Oh. Never give up on your dreams, kids. All good, all good things come to people who wait, like D Free said. Yeah, I wouldn't listen to D Free hard. Thank you, D Free, my boy. But yeah, um, like I said, though, and then, of course, like, Goku Blacks were still really good easy, especially on Global. Again, I think, yeah, this bear is, I would say, a little bit better than last year. Though. We got a couple of good units. Yeah, you got a lot of better units on here that got easy eggs. Dragon Ball Super um, Broly is going to be on here. You can use him for World Tournament. He's really good. Um, this Vegeta 2 Vegeta's by side by side. could be disgusting. And you got Goku's really good. Again, you got some good units on here, though, again. Um, but yeah, again, a lot of people go like, oh, yeah, but what about Global and their anniversary banners? These are the Global anniversary banners. Um, these are worth it as well, though, right now on Global. Again, we have coins now, so whatever you get and stuff like that, they have Rainbow. Like, for me, I have your like, Rainbow, so whatever I pull, I can just, you know, basically, you know, sell them or I might keep it as a store. This R is actually really good, though. Um, he can dodge and stuff like that, but he can't really do as much damage as his TR counterpart, but when he first came out and stuff like that, um... Oh, I definitely remember, I definitely remember that, um, back then. Um... Let me fix my hair up a little bit. Uh, I definitely remember that back then, though, when this first came out with stuff like that, of course. Um, because, um, I'm trying to think of it. Um, because, um, yeah, I forgot about that. Because Global has discounts, tickets. I think you should take advantage of that on Global. Like, while you're on Global right now, I say take advantage of that. Otherwise, what's the point of playing Global? Like, you literally have nothing. Like, if you're just, you're just stupid if you don't have someone on the anniversary because you have coins, um, coin mechanics, the thing now, discounts, tickets, rainbow tickets. Again, on global, you have better benefits. Like I said, just I say so many only beers are worth it though. I'm not saying I'm not, yeah, even the 66 one's worth it. Like, that's a free, that's two free LRs, the ticket one, and um, of course, this one, the stone version of it, they're worth it. I say it's worth the summon on these banners, they are good. I say it's worth it, you know, like, oh yeah, there's so many stones wasted, but the anniversary gives out like 800 stones. So, basically, we're waiting until like the very last day, like me though, not like the very very last day but really like last day or whatever i recommend again i still recommend doing these summons they're all worth it it's worth your stones and stuff like that it's worth it more than something on the videl's banner which is it's pretty good that's a really good units on here though but i don't really really like recommend doing it and stuff like that on there um or gohan again you got some hidden mid units on here but gohan's like it's pretty okay videl's pretty solid though um it's better than something you know on lr champion and minosha where everybody's like oh yeah i got something on the banner before the anniversary you guys are idiots though but yeah even like i said though um also we do have the rainbow ticket as well this came out for jk on their fifth year um global has it right now as well again just doing missions and stuff like that are really worth it um 
Again, okay, you get these all the ambitious during just six years of life, even on JP Tanabata. For global, this um, banner will be in December though, so of course, like I said, uh, this will be in December for global. It'll be really easy to get and stuff like that, of course, like I said. Um, but yeah, I love the banner art though for this one. I love the banner art. It's the blue purple matches the character all really well. For you, like Goku and the blue Vegeta, it actually looks really great. This um, the ticket banner again, the colors are really just inverted though, which I kind of like though, it's the opposite color. But yeah, um, again, you're really just you're doing kind of like single summons on this though, but um, it's pretty okay though. Again, global will probably have this in December as well though they can't keep those celebrations kind of the same though so yeah and they got a lot of stuff to do on global and tp perspectively though so yeah but i could go ahead and end the video there i'm like you'd be caught in the lightning storm there's too much stuff goes on it's going on right now but um yeah though um it's worth it to some of these banners they're really good i'm not saying skip global's anniversary and then that uh, people could be like oh double celebration still a thing i kind of get that as well trust me i get that tenfold um again you should have still have enough stones over from anniversary to still summon on double celebration everybody does but unless you waste all your, I mean, it's worth to dump all your stones of these banners by say, um, I'm saying do not summon a Gohan's banner or Videl's banner, especially Videl, because that's between Dallas Celebration or Global. It's pretty much confirmed at this point. That that will probably get like Gohan. Then again, okay, we're gonna get Gogeta in this like December. We're gonna get this in December. Then November's gonna be pretty much Dragon Ball Hero stuff. So yeah, Gohan, I see Gohan being in um, you know, like uh, this October. Evidel being in between the anniversary though. You know, September uh, still Dallas Celebration. The whole month of September is Dallas Celebration. Um. So yeah, going on to like the end of August though, so yeah. Um then we'll see the ticket banner and stuff like that, of course, confirm this like that for um, JP and stuff like that. But again, something global's worth it. Tickets, discounts, stones, banners, all this stuff was worth it. Again, um do not summon on the but I'll, I'll say do not summon on that. This one's horrible. Do not do that. But yeah, um, this one's definitely worth it more than last year. Again, do not summon on the Tanabata banner. It's pretty okay, but I say you have a better chance of getting your LRs here than that banner specifically though. Again, it has a lot more units, it's gonna be a little bit harder to pull. Put the rates on these guys are down. That's how it was for Super Saiyan 4 Goku and etc. etc. So um yeah. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta, Kao King Goku. So yeah, this year Tanabata, really worth it. See you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. I'll put you on again though. Make sure to stay safe. Bye friends. God bless all of you if you're going out and board master toilet paper roll. Yeah! So what do you guys think about Ultimate Volvo? Of course, did you like it? Did you hate it? I think it was awesome. I think it was great. I think it was cool. See you guys later. Okay, no? It's out.